Okay, hello and welcome to Death Wench's SAS blog. And this one is about how to import a CSV into SAS with really good metadata, which you normally won't have. So let's start by opening SAS. So I'll go over here and open why is SAS never on my list? SAS. Here we go, SAS. Okay, let's just make it nice and big. All right, and then let's start by going to open our metadata. So I have it here. You can open it from my blog. And here we go. So what is metadata? It's This metadata has two tabs. It's got one with the tables. So as you can see, I generated some fake data about some animals. Um, and then I instantiated it over here on this data tab. So this data dictionary is for that tab. See. Uh, I want you to notice that there's types, there's numeric and character here. And then you also have um, like the SAS in format and the SAS format. So the in format is best 32 and format is 12 for num. The field length is 8. And then for character, the in format is dollar sign $20 and the SAS format is dollar sign $20 because the field length is $20. You know how these are num8, that's what you'll get in a proc contents. You'll get a car 20 in the proc contents here. So that's what it's supposed to look like and here's a numeric uh, a date and here's the format for that. So this is the way metadata should look for SAS, at least include this kind of information. So when a person goes to import this, I mean it's nice to even give them some import data, but if you don't do that at least you have this. So now we're going to go back to the actual fake data I made. Where is it? Uh, oh, it's over here. And so you can open this fake data from my blog. And now we're going to download as this CSV. So that's comma separated value. So I'm saving this file in a place where I know of. It's called downloads and this one's going to call it's called 4. Input data set 4. So remember a comma separated value um, file is actually just a um, a, a, a string of a bunch of stuff separated by commas that can be easily read by a lot of different things including Excel. So let's go and import this. It's easily read by SAS and base SAS too. So we're going to go back to, we're going to go to import data and we're going to choose CSV here. Next. Okay, where's the file located? So you needed to know where you put it. I put mine here. And so see what it's called. It's called blah 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 import data set data for. And then it's going to put in library work, which is our, you know, online library that closes. When we close SAS, it goes away. So I'm going to name this A because you have to name it something. And then just ignore this and put finish. And as you can see, it looks like nothing happened, but we're in the editor. If you go over the log, look at all this excitement. Um, so as you can see, it wrote code for us. So now we're going to scavenge that code. So let's hit the Alt key. Let's go up here and let's, we're going to go where we can strategically start selecting and we're going to miss this little guy here. We don't want any of this. Um, that's why the alt key. We don't want these line numbers. So we select everything here. That's nice. And we'll do edit copy or control C. Go over to our editor. Control V. Now let's just put some spaces in here so we can see what's going on. So remember that we have for every field in, in format, format, and input. Now it's a little easier to start with the input. All you have to do here is make sure that the names are right and that the dollar signs are by the character ones. And that's the way we were. Remember, ID, performance score, and date of birth were all numeric. But if you can see here, these are short. Like this name is supposed to be, what is it supposed to be? It's like, if you look at your metadata, it's supposed to be 20. And this is supposed to be 20. Usually this comes out of the native database. The na native database that's where that's storing this data. You, you know how big those fields are and so this is how big this is supposed to be. So if you go into your libraries and you go into work, you can see what happens. So my friend has a cat named Dr. Pepper, but Dr. Pepper down here, he's, his pepper's cut off. Why? Uh, because pounds are up here, he's, he's shorter. And SAS makes a bad guess, you know, guess that this field was too short. So we're going to close that. And we're going to go edit this. So now this is going to be 20. And this is going to be 20. Oops, not 120. And this is going to be 10. Now again, you have to go down here and do it too. So you do the for in format, the format, 
and the type. And then this was all right. And then now you've got some code, so why don't you save it? So we'll save as, I save my code as test. We'll just save over that. So now we're going to run this again, only I want to clear the log first. So we'll go over to the log, right click, choose edit, clear all, just to keep things easy. And now we're going to go run our code here. So now we'll go back to our logs and see what the log says. Um, well, it, sure enough, it says it's nicely spaced now because we wrote the code. And um, everything looks fine there. Let's look and see if Dr. Pepper is all together. And it looks like he is. Here he is. Now, you'll notice that Dr. Pepper's got a performance score. This performance score is a number. He's got a performance score of 2. I don't know why he's so low. Um, but I'm going to right click and clear this. I'm going to show you what can go wrong here. And let's just close this code here and open a new program. I'm going to go and edit this data that you can't edit. And I'm going to go turn Dr. Pepper into an A. So what's this going to do? Um, this need, means now performance score, SAS is going to have to guess it needs to be a character field because it's not going to be able to fit this character in that numeric field. So it says all changes saved. Now let's um, save this uh, kind of screwed up data set with that weird A in there and see how SAS reacts to that when we run the import wizard. So now this one's five, right? So we're going to go back here and go back to our import wizard. So file, import, again CSV, that didn't change. But now we're going to run into problems. Let's see here. Here's our number five and next. Work A. Now you'll notice it'll ask you to replace it when you go finish here. It's no problem. Okay, again, it looked like nothing happened, but you go to the log, and this time you aren't as happy because you see import unsuccessful. And you can see, I sort of portended what would happen here. It's performance score, it still thinks it's best 32, remember that's number, but that A screwed everything up. And you can see it here, here's Dr. Pepper with his A down here. This A is, a, is no good. So what do you do when that happens in real life? Well, the goal is to figure out a way to read in that column as a character field and muck with it later in code. Sometimes that's really hard to do because you're reading in something fixed width and you don't actually know how wide that column is. And so it depends on the, the source of your data and how your data are coming in. Um, but if there's any way that you can read, figure out the width of that column and read it in as a character field, you'll be fine. Um, and that's a lot of trial and error, and you can use different editors to try and do that. But that's one problem with SAS. <laughs> Not just the um, import function, but just in general. It's just a little hard to figure those kind of things out. But if you have a smaller data set, you can always just open it and take a look at it, and maybe you'll see, be able to see what the problem is. All right, well, that's a crash course on how to import a CSV into SAS.